Prince William. Hello, Lady Gaga. Good morning. Well, it's afternoon yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. Good, good morning, good afternoon. It is, and I am so grateful to speak to you. I am a very big fan of what you've done with Heads Together and hashtag it's okay to say the videos with Annie and Joe, the beautiful films that you've made with the Heads Together campaign. They told beautiful stories, and it reminded me how much my mental health changing changed my life. Yeah, you're really kind to say so. I mean, Harry, Catherine, and I really felt this was such an important area that throughout all our charitable work, whether it was vet veterans, um, homelessness, addiction, um, most of it seemed to stem back to mental health issues. And, you know, I read your, your open letter you wrote the other day and I thought it was incredibly moving and very brave of you to write um, down, you know, such personal feelings. And I wanted to ask you very much uh, what you, what, how you found speaking out and how it made you feel. It made me very nervous at first. For me, waking up every day and feeling sad and going on stage is something that um, is very hard to describe. There's a lot of shame attached to mental illness. You feel like something is wrong with you. And in my life, I go, oh my goodness, look at all these beautiful, wonderful things that I have and I should be so happy. But you can't help it if in the morning when you wake up, you are so tired, you are so sad, you are so full of um, anxiety and the shakes that you can barely think, but it was like saying, uh, this is a part of me and that's okay. It's interesting to see and hear from you how much having that conversation or having that, that sort of, that ability to speak to someone really made a difference to you. And I think for me, the, the little bits that I've learned so far about mental health is very much the case of, you know, it's okay to have this conversation. It's really important to have this conversation and that you, you, you know, you won't be judged. It's so important to, to break open that fear and that taboo, which is, it's only gonna lead to more problems down the line. Yes. It can make a, a huge difference. I feel like we are not hiding anymore. We're starting to talk. And that's what we need to do, really. Absolutely. It's time that's that everyone right. speaks up and, and, and really, you know, it feels very normal about mental health. It's the same as physical health. Everybody has mental health and that we, sh we shouldn't be ashamed of it. And, and that just having a conversation with a friend or family member can really make such a difference. Even though it was hard, it was the best thing that could come out of my mental illness was to share it with other people and let you know our generation as well as other generations know that uh, if you are feeling not well in your mind, that you're not alone. And that people that you think would never have a problem uh, do. Absolutely, that's fantastic. And um, I hear you're potentially coming over to the UK in October. Yes. It'd be great if when you are over here, we could meet up and maybe have a chat a bit more, you know, get our heads together about um, how, how much more we can do to tackle this. I would love that. We have to make the strongest, most relentless attempt we can to normalize mental health issues. Uh, so that people feel like they can come forward. I can't thank you enough for, for speaking, you know, with us today and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Prince William. Have a beautiful Thanks, day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.